Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Mod of Redemption. So, I've got a little bit of a longer recap for you this time, because, well, story time. It'll be a quick one, I promise. Probably. So, as I am recording this video, something happened. A mob spawned in real life. I kid you not, a spider dropped down from my ceiling right in front of my face. Of course, I was shocked, to say the least, to put it in polite, PG-13, advertiser-friendly terms, cost me my in-game life it did. This gravestone, right here. This is the spider gravestone. What's really funny about that, though, this is the second time that that has happened to me. Second spider. I mean, what do I even do with that? One is weird, but two is actually kind of suspicious. I mean, another one shows up. I'm probably gonna feel some type of way about that. Like I'm being watched from the rafters. Thought I'd share that with you, just to make you squirm in your seat a little bit at the very least. Check your ceilings before you sit down, I guess. Anyways, on with the show. So, I went off in search of that mystical hall of heroes. I found it, of course, and got me a magic floating coffee cup called the Chalice of Alignment. It told me about that alignment system that I mentioned in the last video. Simply put, Basically, making good or bad choices changes the way the world interacts with you. Uh, now I'm about as clueless as you are as to how that system is going to play out going forward, so stay tuned, and let's learn together. I'm sure it's going to be a really good time. Also, on my way down to the Hall of Heroes, got to stop by the Mushroom Biome. Met a lot of new people. I, I don't think I've seen a more inhospitable hole in the ground. I had so much fun. Oh god. <laughs> At least the music was pretty funky, though, so that was cool. While I was down there, saw a lot of new mods and texture packs, though. A little bit of pet overhaul, enchanted moons, colored statues, just a, a dip in the pond as to what's to come. And finally, Zephos is back. And despite my best efforts to give him a comfy home to live in, he'd really rather just stay by the corruption. I have Fargo's on, I don't know if you know this or not, but you're supposed to get in here when I do this. You do not respect the power of Fargo's. He sells this cool map, though. Never heard of Epidotra before, but I'm sure it's gonna be very important. Today, more exploration. I've heard that there may be a secret hiding underneath that mysterious portal we found. We're gonna go check that out and see where it goes. I expanded my base, too, by the way. I don't know if you noticed the uh, the new shaped structure I got uh, going on here. It is an architectural marvel, which it's actually kind of funny that it's shaping up to look like this, because the last time I played this mod, I was watching the old Let's Play, and a big wooden box on stilts is the design that I had for the entirety of that. You know what it didn't have, though, was the squirrel statues. Check that out. Pretty neat. Little tree rats throwing acorns at each other. It's nice, got going on there. Also got my dear, my dear sweet Helen. What is that? Oh, the painter's over there shooting at somebody. I don't know what he was blasting, but he pulverized him. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a ghost behind me. And that is uh, evidently because I've died so many times that this is uh, close enough to a graveyard over here. Just about right here, I think. This little tiny section right there. My head bobbing up and down. That was where Abigail's flower grew, and I almost walked right past it without noticing. Yeah, see, the background turned kind of gray. So I guess I've died so many times that this is now a graveyard biome, which is spectacular. But at least I got this out of it, so you know what? We're good to go. Anyways, let's run across the desert again. We are going to go to the depths of that portal. It looks like there was a little cave that I could run under back there that I'm going to go explore and see if there really is, in fact, a secret down there. My never-ending problem, though, is it really is truly a nightmare to get across this world. Everything hits so hard, and the knockback is so brutal right now. And I run into situations like this where I can't get things to leave me alone. We'll press on, though. We will fight on. All I gotta do is get there. That's it. No more, no less. Ah, God. We're gonna go down this hole. You see what's down here. Oh, God. Wow, you were not kidding. It uh, looks like there is, in fact, a unique structure down here. And some gems, it looks like. I'm gonna grab some of that. Let's see what we got going down here inside the dirt hole. What is that? What is that? Oh. What do you think, 
Who you? Who you? <laughs> Where am I? I don't know, Dirt Pile. That's a person now. Hey yo, I'm noob. Want to be friends? Uh sure. What was that? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's funny. Home requirements. Oh god. Me like gems. Fill house with shiny stones. Any gem is good, but no rubies. Too red. Okay. Fine. Sure. Fill house with shiny stones. Uh, you sell dirt and mud, and that that is it. Terraforma Bomba. A large radius in a forest. Hmm. Okay, noob. Are you just gonna hang out here? Is that why there's so many emeralds? Uh, because I could definitely use these. Thank you for informing me that this was down here. That, that, I don't know how I missed that. I probably would have got around to exploring down here eventually, but I'm glad I got it now. That guy also looks like he's got a permanent, like, face of... wonder. Oh, God. Speaking of wonder, there it is. I knew that was coming. Okay, Abigail's got me. A girl, Abby. She's good to go. Yeah, it's gonna take forever to kill it, but we'll get there. Gonna use the beard hatchet. Oh, yeah, look at that. Come on. Bring it around town. Yeah. Oh, God. A little screen shake there. I like it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And it's dead. And the noob did nothing to help me. He just stood there and got hit. Well, I'm heading out of here. I think all of my... Well, no, all my homes are not filled to the brim. Noob the fool. Housing did not meet requirements for fool. So maybe I do actually need that. Oh, my God. Okay, that's fine. We will get around to... Making a home for the fool, getting him over here. Like I said, I'm kind of, I'm thinking maybe I do in fact need gems for this. I can make an emerald hook. Definitely want to do that. That could be real good for me going forward here. There's some hook stats there. Shoot speed, hook count, reach. I like it. I like seeing all that. Uh, emeralds in general though, I do need for a storage heart. So as soon as I can get some diamonds, really got to get my hands on some kind of an extractinator or something so I can get that going. Gotta get my magic storage. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my big old murder axe right here. We're gonna head down to the underground, to the depths. I'm gonna see what I can find. Yeah. Don't know how much I'm going to find, but I do need to continue my exploration. A lot of this may end up getting cut out, by the way. I might spend a lot of time down here and just leave in the highlights. But basically, by that, I mean leave in the death montage. Oh, God, what is this? Oh, is this what I think it is? Well, it doesn't matter if I died down there anyway, because there's something up here I have to go looking for. If that well and truly is what I think it is, then there's something up here. The skeletons are plotting a party at dusk. Oh, well, I guess, uh, gonna be something going on tonight. But anyways, yeah, there it is. I was absolutely correct. The verdant, the verdant surface, actually, right here. There we go. This is part of the verdant mod, if uh, you couldn't guess. Got some custom music. There's this tree right here. Lush leaf. Makes a good bit of stuff here. A lot of vanity items here. Decoratives. There is a minion set, but I don't... Not 100% sure if I can make all of it yet. I gotta go looking for stuff first. That'd be really good. Get a nice summon set right there. The plant. In real. A couple of new items here. Some new weapons. Gems. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff. Let's see what we got here. This is lush wood. This can be used to craft some things. And it looks like even though this is from a different mod, Mod of Redemption special weapon types do in fact cross over into other weapon types, as long as they are that particular type of weapon, I guess. Swords and hammers and I guess these shears count as an axe. Can be used as an axe, technically. All right, well, that's cool. I like it. And normally there's supposed to be something going on over here, I thought. Supposed to be some kind of text pop-up, if I remember correctly. So maybe it triggered and I didn't react to it fast enough? I don't know. So that's the end of the verdant, at least for the surface anyway. But this tree is a marker for where the verdant is down below. The actual biome itself. This is but a glimpse. Calla lily, used to make pink dye. Interesting. All of the stuff, I believe, yeah, you can pick it up. Place it around your base, I think. Keeps Charlie away? I don't get it. At all. Frozen power when held in the verdant. Oh yeah, look at that. There's all kinds of cool stuff. There's floating plant bulb things in the background. It's awesome. I've seen this mod before, and I'm sure you probably have as well. It's a little bit on the older side, but it is a very small mod that only adds a little bit of content, and I thought the theme kind of worked well with the mod of Redemption. I figured it wouldn't clash too much, especially since 
the majority of the items that you get from it are vanity related and it adds a new biome to kind of spice some things up a little bit. I want to go down there and take a look at that. I am going to go back up to the surface and deal with those skeletons whenever they finally uh, show up. But for the time being, I'm going to go down and see if I can make my way into the Verdant because there's definitely something down there that I want you guys to see. For those of you that don't know anything about the mod. I am actually surprised that it's here, to tell you the truth, because I thought it spawned more... Uh, closer to the jungle. It's interesting that it's here. Oh yeah, there's something down there. Yeah, definitely. All right, I've got to be careful here. Where's the dart trap thing at? There's the dart trap, but I know there's another one somewhere. Verdant caves. Yeah, it's down below this way. Oh, God. Ah, God. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, God, there's one of those. Eh, eh. Oh, come on. You tell me I can't grab one of those things with that? I thought you'd get those with a bug net. Grr. Anger. All right, let's go over here. Oh, there's a uh, boulder trap. Definitely not letting that happen. Gotta work our way down. So that's interesting. It is below. Oh, God, I did it. I did the thing. I got the health. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. I gotta go down here into these caves. I'm not even really sure what's gonna be down here because, like I said, not a whole lot. Yeah, there's some... Uh, a lush winglet. There's some critters down here. There we go. All right, and there's the lush wood. I can chop that down from down here. Acorns. All right, let's work our way down through this and see if I can find what I'm looking for here. I love the general atmosphere of this, though. I think it's really cool. I'm sure it's not just me, but it's basically, a, you know what, a pretty peaceful biome. There's not a whole lot of hostility down here. It's not filled with monsters. It's just kind of like this little cave. You find passion flower bulb. Interesting. Right click to open. Oh! Instantly grows all herbs, harvests them, and replants them. Half sprout. Moon glow seeds, blink root, lush splinter. That is really cool. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff I gotta grab down here. Got to me a full inventory already. I don't want to add any of this stuff to vein miner because I really don't want to absolutely obliterate the entire biome. I would like for some of this stuff to stick around. Plus, it's not like I can't come back down here anyway. So the goal right now is just, you know, taking a peek. Taking a peek at the glowy stuff. There's that aquamarine, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Yes, indeed. I'm going to add that to vein mine. Oh, that's really cool. Just like the, the petals flying in the background. All these little fellas buzzing around my head. These flowers in the wall actually can be picked up. They can be harvested. They give you petals, but I think there's a certain tool you can use to actually pick them up and place them back down again. Oh, that is cool. If you break these, they fall slowly? Oh, that is cool. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I think that's awesome. I wish more items weren't just like static things that flop down after you destroyed them. What is that thing? Oh, that is really cool. Look at the floating plants. Weird looking, but it's cool. What's this? Bumblebee hive. Spawn bees, which pollinate nearby flowers. Can be harvested after enough bees return with pollen for some goodies. Interesting. So maybe I actually have to place them down first. Oh, God, I keep killing things. I'm sorry. Oh, I got an item this time. A hasty light bloom. Increases life regen when in light. The stronger the light, the larger the increase. And I, I got a second one of those, it seems. Or what, what is this? Magic infused wisp plant. Powerful aura of druidic energy surrounds it. Speeds up all natural growth in an area by a dramatic amount. Oh, look at that. That is really cool looking. It made those vines grow faster if you didn't see that. That is really cool. I am regenerating, Nathan. Also, I'm guessing these things, the uh, passion flowers, are supposed to kind of be like, I'm going to guess the chests down here. Lush leaf wand. I can place lush leaf blocks. You know, this could be really good for a base build this time around. Also, yes, there's a gigantic something here on my face. Hello. Smells like petrichor, a drop berry. For those of you that don't know, Petricor is the name for the smell of rain, in case you were curious. Those of you Risk of Rain fans out there, I am one of them. Boy, could you imagine that? Ball man suffering eternally in a Risk of Rain Let's Play. You know, that's another little story time thing that I could tell you. Once upon a time, I did do videos about Risk of Rain, long before this channel was what it is right now. And those videos are buried on YouTube. Good luck, you'll never find them. Oh my god, waterberry bush? So there's, oh my god, there's plants? be placed on itself and verdant leaves only grows in water? Instead, the dryad and the witch doctor sells them. 
I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what I expected. Like, I'm so excited about this down here. It's like, oh my god, this, this mod has plants in it. Like, yeah, of course it does. But for some reason, it's still blowing my mind every time. Oh god, here we go. It finally happened. I got so much going off at the same time. An evil presence is watching you. The cherry moon is rising, which is another one of the enchanted moons. This one increases my life regeneration. And the skeletons reconsidered partying tonight. I wonder why that was. Could it be the Eye of Cthulhu? Is that what was uh, was doing it there? They're like, yeah, we're ready for this rave, man. Oh, 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 ah, ooh. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, ah, uh, yeah, I'm good. We got here cloud in a bottle and a suspicious looking eye. Well, don't even worry about that. He's already up there waiting for me. At least I got double jumps though. I like it. Bring the chest with me. Also, I'm surprised I'm down at the lava layer already. This biome is not uh, not very deep, but I'm still down like basically almost at the underworld. So you know what? There may be a reason to build a little uh, safe passage through this little biome here. While it's still safe. Amethyst ring. Oh, that's one of the uh, the things from Enchanted Moons. Gives the floral blessing. And that can be combined with some obsidian to form a ring that Gives the effects of all the moons, which I'm not going to go over right now. You'll see that later. Um, I'm going to put that on for Lucky Shackle. Because now I can have the Cherry Moon's healing aura all the time. So I got a lot of life regen, basically, between the hasty life bloom I've got on and the Amethyst Ring. Which, uh, <laughs> very well needed. Definitely. Going to grab some obsidian because, you know, why not? It's right there, you know? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. There he is. I found him. That's what I'm looking for right there. Flowerhead man. You can talk to him. All right, the cherry moon is set and the skeletons are plotting a party at dusk, which means the surface is safe again. But before we go back up there and look at all of this stuff that I've got, because my inventory is empty now, but I put everything in here, so I got a lot of stuff to go through. Let's see what this uh, fine fella's got to say. Remember to breathe. Keep the plants thriving. And return to me once you've slain the great eye. May we find each other in good spirits soon. I, we, it's all the same. So, I'm guessing... There's originally supposed to be an introductory... Sort of... Hey, come down here and find me at the center of the verdant. I want to speak with you. This mysterious, otherworldly voice... Kinda draws you down here. And like I said, for those of you that, uh... Didn't know... This tree is like the marker for where the Verdant is, as well as this guy. Lost. Nails are underappreciated creatures. A am I a good gardener? No. I'm told you we're the best. And this guy is so wholesome. I don't even know what this thing is. But uh, there's going to be some lore. We're going to find out about that later. He uh, has some missions for us, I guess. Or has some things he'd like to discuss with me. Has some gifts, you might say. Oh, there's a chest down here, an actual gold chest. Oh, was that supposed to be a, uh, a dead man chest? Well, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was supposed to be. Now, we are going to head back up to the surface. Hello, Shipton. Ah, uh, yes, there is going to be lots of reason to go checking this guy out because you never know what these pets for the uh, pet overhaul mod are going to do. So we have the Bedazzled Nectar, a pet butterfly. And fly for 0.75 seconds to gain immunity to fall damage. Adds flight time to your wings, lose your max health, the player has no wings. Fledgling wings only gain 0.75 seconds wing time with no health penalty. So I can fly, but I get a little weaker. And the blue chicken egg, someone's a blue chicken. Which is not for Mod of Redemption. It's very fitting for the mod though. Harvesting anything drops you a random item from a table. Items vary from seeds to fruits, plants and herbs have a 25% chance. Rare plants have a 50% chance, and choppables have a 10%. Approximately every 8 minutes gives you an egg. Rarely, you might get a different egg. Interesting. Okay. Well, I can't afford it anyway. I got no money because I'm broke. Now, let's see what we got going on up here. Alright, so, uh, first things first. I may have a situation here. So, there's honey here now. Which, I mean, it, it's... It's honey. Uh, which is neat. Also... See if I can get him doing it. There's a bee right there. Look, it just went back into the hive. Look at these hives. If I right click them, look, it makes honey. This entire world is gonna be covered in sticky goo. Look at that. Oh my god. Look, I can do it again. Look at that. Oh my god. Eh. Come here. Yeah. There we go. Eh. Look at that. Everything is covered in honey right now. 
Ugh, and I can get honey without having to go to the jungle, which is actually kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie. And I get honey nuggets. Exceptionally good despite the origin. Increased life regen, just eat some raw honey right out of the hive. And speaking of which, I actually uh, can get hives from these. Not very many, but I can get them. And look, these bees, they're gonna go into the plants. It looks like these little sprouts that I put down here, passion fruit or whatever they were called. And I'll also grapple onto these uh, sunflowers too. So basically, if I just let this go, they'll keep doing what they're doing. I'll be making honey all the time, 24 seven. Oh, that was odd. What is this? Um. What on earth is going on outside right now? Um, hello? Oh, no. Wait, I have something for skeletons. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm in trouble now is basically what you're saying, right? Oh, God. Um, yeah, I may be having some trouble here. Ugh, decapitated. Oh, wow. Skeletal Wanderer hits very hard, has a lot of health. Okay, uh, here I have an Aquamarine Staff from the Verdant. It is all I've got to defend me from this. Ugh. What is that thing doing down there? What? Okay. What is that? Why, why is that? Oh my god. Skeleton flag bearer? Oh my god, there's so many of these things. Can't I grab them with a bug net, those souls? Isn't that something I could do, or do I need a special thing for that? A pedotrian skeleton. What is this business going on right now? What is this? Until party's over, 41%. So this event doesn't end when I'm done killing enough. It ends when it's over. What is that? Epidotrin skeleton? Oh, it's got, they've got hats on. Listen, it looks like, so the way these sprites are made, it looks like half of them decided to wake up and choose violence and the other half are just here to hang out. Some of them showed up with swords and shields and pikes and spears. And you got this guy. Oh God, there it is. Corpse Walker skeleton. Listen, it's bad enough you're murdering me in the desert. Now you're coming to my house to do it. They heal each other? Oh, I gotta love it whenever the uh, the enemies work together. Oh, the skeletons got bored and went home. Okay. Oh, that's the way that it is. Oh God, skeleton noble. Ah, uh, they're charging after me. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going home. It looks like they just decided to stop playing games and they're coming after my giblets. See that? That's the face of a man that wants giblets. Well, he ain't gonna get him. He's gonna get shot in the face. That's what he's gonna get. All right. Well, never mind. What was I saying? Something about the Verdant, and then I got invaded. So, you know, that is what it is, I guess. Um, neat, I suppose. Okay, well, that little diversion there. Skeleton Rave has uh, been taken care of. Also, I got a lot of Gravesteel alloy from that. A lot of Gravesteel bars. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, so there's an armor set for this. And it's got a fair bit of lore. Noble's Halberd. Gravesteel Warhammer, Common Guard set, and there's lore for all of these. Bucket Helm of the Common Guardian of Anglon that were scavenged by skeletons. Metal has dulled with time and coated with layers of dust. Common Guard was found when an overlord city was completely obliterated by a stray demon. Interesting. So the lore looks pretty much the same for both of these. It's just the description is a little bit different. Visored plate mail helm, bucket helm, plate mail of the Common Guard unit. Okay, so that's cool. There's a little bit of lore there if you want to read that. Plate mail grieves. Well, I already have that uh, ancient shadow helm, but, uh, you know, I won't complain about a little bit more defense. Put on the boots and a chest. And I can make the helmet if I want to. Now I will make the bucket helm, throw it on, and see what we got. A little bit less defense, but we have a damage reduction increase. So there we go. We got ourselves a set. I am an armored knight of, uh, of Anglon. Yes, yes. And uh, hopefully I won't get murdered too terribly too many times now. Please, have mercy is what I'm saying. The skeletons are plotting another party already. Well, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cut that party short because, uh, my God, give me a break, man. Jeez, got to make up for that lost time because they ran away from the Eye of Cthulhu. Fair enough, though. But now, before anything else goes on, definitely I am going to have to call it an episode here because I have been recording for a good while now, and we have done so much today. I was not expecting to see the Verdant over there. I really wasn't. I thought that spawned uh, kind of in the middle of the jungle. At least that's where I've seen it before. Maybe there's something else in the jungle over there. Maybe it's because I think Redemption puts their abandoned lab in the jungle. I'm not sure if that's the same now, though, but uh, 
Might be something over there in the way. But we'll find out. And the Rave Yard. Uh, interesting event. I'm gonna guess that's a Mono Redemption thing. Uh, that's interesting, to say the least. We're gonna see lots more of those, I guess. And uh, we got a Fool. He's uh, over there, hanging out. Noob the Fool. He does not want to move into my wooden box. He must have a House of Diamonds. So, that's remarkable. But yeah, did a lot today. Accomplished a lot of things. Saw lots of new stuff, which is always a good thing. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.